Breckenridge, Colorado is just one of towns everywhere that are going green. No, not that kind of green. Breck's new decriminalization law has created quite the buzz, making national headlines the whole month of November. Breckenridge is the second city behind Denver to decriminalize small amounts of the drug and the first to decriminalize associated paraphernalia. You wouldn't suspect that this town would have been the first one to do this. Shops, restaurants, and lots of snow make this town a hotspot for families. And some critics are wondering if the law will discourage families from visiting. But for those already here, that doesn't seem to be the case. I don't think it would make any difference to um, our family as to whether or not we would um, come here. We love the place and it's still a family place for us. Some say the decriminalization law will help the economy of this booming ski town. I think it's going to have a positive effect. I think that more people are going to flock here. As of January 1st, 2010, where I'm standing right now in the town of Breckenridge, it will officially be decriminalized to have under an ounce of marijuana in your possession. But if I take a couple of steps this way, I am officially on Breckenridge Resort territory where the local laws no longer apply. Because the mountain is considered federal land, the resort will continue to follow the laws of the state. You'd have to be real stupid to get caught on a ski resort. While representatives from the resort were unavailable for an interview, the chief operating officer of Ski Patrol did release a statement saying that using the drug on the lift or on the mountain is in violation of the Colorado Ski Safety Act. Somebody had to be first, and Breckenridge decided to be first. And I hope that we can show them the impact, show the country the impact. With this new law, Breckenridge is at the forefront of what could be the next green revolution. Kylie Burst, News Team Boulder.